Nathaniel Hawthorne originally intended to write The Scarlet Letter as just a short story. Hawthorne didn't think it would be well received, but The Scarlet Letter became his first and greatest literary success and was soon recognized after its publication in 1850 as a masterpiece. It was a bestseller, and the print run of 2,500 books sold out in less than two weeks. Early reviews for The Scarlet Letter praised its tragic power and subtle knowledge of character. Not everyone was enthusiastic about it, however. Some of the people complained about his biting criticism. Hawthorne refused to back down. He didn't change a word in the reprint. Religious leaders complained when the book initially came out about some of the racy content. Now, Puritans believed in the teachings of John Calvin. They believed in predestination, and the Puritans got their name from their efforts to purify the Catholic Church. Puritans had an influence on the new settlement who arrived at Plymouth Harbor. They were separatists and founded the Plymouth Colony, but a decade later, non-Puritans set up in the Bay Colony. Both Puritans and non-Puritans lived in a theocracy where a Bible was the constitution and God was the leader. Only church members could be citizens. Now the Puritans' lives were filled with unending sorrow, hardship, and work. Punishment was a big part of Puritan life. Public humiliation was actually common, wearing an A for adultery or a D for drunkenness. More serious crimes were punished by imprisonment, banishment, or infliction of physical pain. People were executed for such crimes as adultery, murder, and treason all the time. Hawthorne labeled The Scarlet Letter a romance. He felt that a novel should stick to the ordinary and realistic portrayal of the human experience. A romance, however, should tell the truth of the human heart. But it also allows the author some leeway to manage the circumstances. A novel has to be more faithful but a piece of romance has to be more about feeling.